Greetings and welcome to Seamless Styles, powered by Politics and Polaroids. I'm your host, Mr. Parker. So today I think we'll talk about collecting and collections and collectors. I'm a collector of Ralph Lauren, as most of you pretty well already know. Um, there are different ways or different motivating factors to becoming a Ralph Lauren collector. Um, me personally, I'm a collector of ensembles. So when I purchase an item like this sweater, um, I'm also going to be looking for pants to go with it, a shirt to layer under it, and the proper footwear. Uh, I do believe in complementary pieces, not necessarily matching pieces, which there's nothing wrong with that. That's just not my nature. Um, being a collector is, is time consuming. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of sacrifice. But if it's something that you are committed to, then the rewards can be very fruitful. Um, you could you could build your own self as a brand just from becoming a collector. My motivating factors are more so just being a brand ambassador for Ralph Lauren. Let's start off by looking at a few pieces that I've collected over the years. One of my favorite pieces to collect over the years is the rugby, the actual rugby shirt. These are all long sleeve. Some of them are, actually quite a few of them are from the now defunct Rugby Ralph Lauren line. There's also some blue label in here, Polo Sport. And I think there's even a purple label rugby in here. Um, I'm a huge fan of layering. So with the rugby, I typically layer it over an Oxford button down shirt, bow tie or necktie. And then depending on how dressy I'm trying to be, jeans or khakis maybe even sweatpants or joggers and depending on how cold it is outside I'll throw a tweed blazer over top and that'll be my look out of these I would say those bottom three on this side are my favorite because they have the country names across the front I'm a big fan of European style I'm a big fan of soccer motif rugby motif, cricket motif. So I would say probably these three in my left arm at the bottom are my three favorite. These are some of my favorite crew neck sweatshirts. Um, most of these, well actually all of these are blue label. Um, I'm a big fan of the crew neck because it just, it's, it symbolizes that Ivy trad look, which is I'm a huge fan of. Um, as you know, with crew necks, you typically, if you're going to layer them, you typically wear them with bow ties as opposed to the V-neck, which you typically wear with a necktie. However, all rules are made to be broken. So, but most, more often than not, if you catch me with a crew neck on, I'm layered and I'm wearing a bow tie. Uh, out of these, I'd say the green one with the New York College logo insignia motif on the front is my favorite. However, I am also a fan of this Eastern Division football crew neck sweatshirt. This came out not too long ago, so it's the newest one out of these. Um, but all of these are pretty much fan favorites for me. These are just two of the more recent Letterman jackets that I've purchased. Uh, this is the Moonshot Kicker, which is pretty freaking cool. It's sateen. It's got the Ralph Lauren Tigers on the back. Eastern Division on the front. The Tiger. Uh, punting moonshot this is a pretty cool one i will say this one fits a little more custom fit than it does true to size but it was a great purchase for me i love this one this one however which just came out this is my baby i love the detailing on this it's got like a it's almost got like a senior chords feel to it with the yearbook connotations on the front and the back it's got the pocket with the football type logo in the front, the uh, crested heraldic uh, insignia on the chest. Man, this is a great Letterman jacket. Only thing I will say is I wish they both had the second zipper at the bottom so I could get that full zip, half zip look when I put this on. But other than that, I have no complaints with either one of these. 
I do have uh, a couple of tip of the more traditional Letterman coats with the leather sleeves, uh, t uh, wool wool torso, and but uh, buttons on them. But uh, these two, which like I said, are my more recent purchases, these are pretty pretty freaking awesome. In closing, just remember that when it comes to collecting, your main objective should be to stick to what styles you're comfortable with. Yes, at times you would like to think outside of the box, maybe make a purchase here and there that you may normally not do, but making those leaps of faith on a consistent basis could become real pricey. And if you're consistently making mistakes with your collections, you know, you're, you're gonna lose like that in the end. Also, and one thing I wanna point out, it's really a big deal to me. When you're collecting, again, collect for the style that best suits you. Don't be in a secret competition with other collectors. That's just corny. It's, it's, it's bullshit. If you see something that somebody else has and you wanna purchase it because they have it, not necessarily because it fits your collection or fits your style, you're a loser. Don't do that. Stick with what works for you. If you're trying something new, I get it. But if you're purchasing it because somebody else has it, that's loser material. Just don't do it. That's going to be a waste of money, a waste of time, and you're not going to be respected in the culture and the community. But other than that, have fun with your collecting. Also remember, it's not just about the clothes. It's a lifestyle. So you also have uh, Ralph Lauren home goods, uh, pillows, pillowcases, mugs, saucers, things of that nature. Just remember, this is this is supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be exciting, but you should also take it seriously. And just make sure when you're when you're collecting, you're collecting for you. This is for you. This is about you. It's not about anybody else. Jameson's. Hmm. Anyway, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, get in the comment box, tell me about your collections, what's your favorite piece in your collection, I want to hear from you, also we'll be doing this every week, at least once a week starting out, we will have a podcast coming soon, and the goal is in about a year or so to be hosting master classes, so stay tuned, hit that like, hit that subscribe, follow me on Instagram, at Mr. Parker 1967. All right? Enjoy your day.